when I graduated from BMCC last May, I took my licensing for my registered nurse. I passed it, which was great relief. And then I applied to North Shore LIJ. And they have a wonderful program where for a year they train you on the floor uh, to specialize in emergency medicine. When you graduate nursing school, most people, not all, uh, go into what's called med surge. Med surge is every, pretty much every floor that is medical and or surgical in nature. Uh, it's people recovering from illness and or recovering from surgery, and they're stable for the most part. And you work on a floor. You have X amount of patients on the floor, and you care for them every shift that you have all day long, same patients. Uh, a fellowship is a specialty. So just like a doctor would get their MD and they'd be a general practitioner, they then can go on to uh, do a fellowship in cardiothoracic surgery or dermatology or plastic surgery or any other, any of the really fine specialists that you find out there, they usually went through a fellowship program, a specialized rotation just in that field. Um, and that's where all their training lies. And right out of school, that's where I went. I went into a fellowship to train me just in emergency and trauma. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm uh, six months in, and I love it. I cannot believe that they pay me to do this. And I love going to work every day. My daily life as a fellow uh, varies. It can include an, a full day on the floor, which means I start my shift at 11 a.m. It's a 12 and a half hour shift, so I do apologize for the way I look because I just came off of three 12 and a half hour shifts in a row. So to do, you know, 37 hours roughly straight is, it's a rough, it's a rough shift to do. Um, so I start at 11 a.m. and we have a very large ED, so like 100 beds or so. And it's split up into different areas, uh, including pediatrics. We are cross-trained as pediatric ER nurses as well. So you look up your assignment, you find out what area you're going to, and you start taking report on patients. Um, EDs don't stop. They don't close. The patients don't stop coming. So you don't get 10 patients and you have 10 patients to care for for a day. You can care for five patients in a 12-hour shift. It can be 25 patients rotating. Some get discharged, some get admitted, and you never stop getting your patients. Doctors treat diseases and nurses treat people and their responses to diseases. And so together, we can come together and say, you know, this person is tachycardic or has a really fast heart rate. Um, and then I can say, well, you know, they also have fever, and that's one of the symptoms. So they'll say, oh, okay, they have fever. Let's treat the fever. Or, you know, I just looked at their labs, and they have a high white count. That means they've got an infection somewhere. Let's hang an antibiotic. So together, we discuss what needs to be done. I think gone are the days when, you know, nurses were subservient to pretty much anyone that, that had a higher position, and they would just, just did as they were told. First, when I applied to the MCC for the nursing program, I was told, you better apply to every nursing school out there because BMCC is very competitive and you probably won't get in. I'm pretty stubborn by nature, which I think serves me well in my daily routine. <laughs> so it was the only school <laughs> that I applied to. I was determined to get in. And the way they do that is that it's based on GPA. It doesn't matter who you know, how nice you are, how mean you are where you come from, which I think is great. They strictly base it on your hard work and the rewards that you reap from your hard work are your, are your good grades. And they start at 4.0 and they fill the seats until they get to the last seat. The lowest GPA in my class was a 3.79, I believe. I was bestowed with several honors at pinning and at graduation, one of which was at the presidential convocation, which is an honors convocation. I was presented with the Tassinelli Award for Compassion and Caring and that was named after Professor Barbara Tassinelli's parents. And she, when her mother passed, uh, while I was still at BMCC, she created this small scholarship and this award for, for people that go above and beyond in their compassion and caring in the nursing field. And I was thrilled and honored, really, that she chose me. I was the first recipient of that award. And then, to my surprise, at Pinning, which is a nursing graduation, I was awarded with best all-around student for that particular class, and I was in shock. I really had sat back and just was ready to watch my friends and just accept my pin, and, and I was thrilled. And this was just really the icing. It was unbelievable. I'm back in school, actually. I'm getting my baccalaureate in nursing, 
at SUNY Delhi. And my goal is to be a clinical nurse specialist in trauma, emergency medicine, and disaster medicine. Disaster nursing is a fairly new uh, field, and especially since 9-11. And basically what this means is a disaster nurse takes care of people that have been in disasters. And they can be natural disasters or man-made disasters, um, decontamination. It can be, uh, you know, from disease state, from, you know, incredible wreckage, hurricanes, tornadoes, you know, anything that happens that has mass sort of destruction. Um, and it basically deals with the triage and the deployment of nursing to help these patients, as many patients, it's doing the greatest good for the greatest number of people.